Okay, so now we're on page eight of your packet. So remember in your packet, you should number it starting with the lesson one, page one. Um, so here in the warm up, we had a similar problem. We were finding the area in circumference. Oh, but our radius was uh, 20 in our warm up. So now it's our diameter is 20. So let's write our key pieces of information. Diameter is 20 inches. And uh, the goalie ate half of this pizza. So we want to know the area of the pizza that she ate. So if our diameter is 20, we know that our radius is half of that. So our radius is 10 inches. And remember the formula for area is pi times our radius squared. So then all you have to do after you find the area of this entire circle is just multiply that area by half because the goalie ate half of the pizza. Okay, you're going to leave that in exact form. Um, in the next question, if we think about a 45, so Sonia chose a slice from another pizza and that had a diameter of 16. So let's write diameter is 16 inches. So we'll let you write down what the radius is and our formula is still going to be the same. We're going to still use pi times the radius squared, but this time we're thinking of it in terms of 45 degree piece. So if you look down here, this piece is about 72 degrees. So if I want to kind of imagine what a 45 piece might look like, let me go ahead and draw a little sketch of a circle. Draw in a radius. If I were to imagine um, a right angle, this would be 90 degrees, right? And so the 45 degrees is about half of that. So here's 45 degrees. So 45 degrees, if I think about this 90 degree, that was a fourth of the circle. So this is about one eighth of the circle, one eighth. And the other way to have determined that is you could take 45 and you could divide it by 360, which is, you know, 12.5%. How did I get one eighth? One eighth is 12.5%. And I could have also simplified 45 over 360 in my calculator using my fraction button. So I just need an eighth of the circle. Right, and so we're looking for that area. Once I find the area, I could just multiply that area by one over eight, or multiply it by eighth, or I can multiply it by point, uh, twelve point five percent, or point one two five. Okay. Um, now looking here at this next problem, as the evening drew to a close, Sonia noticed that there was only one slice of the goalie's pizza remaining. So the goalie's pizza. Uh, let's make sure we have our information. Had a diameter of. 20. So that means our radius was 10 and that's in inches. Um, she measured the central angle, so that's here at 72 degrees. And we want to know what the area is for this piece then. So we don't know what the area is for the entire circle. So now we just have to figure out, well, how many of these 72 degree slices will fit into that pizza? Well, remember a full circle rotation is 360. So what is 72 out of 360? Let's Simplify that. 72 over 360 is 1 fifth. So that simplifies to 1 fifth. So when we um, want to find the area of the remaining slice, I basically just take the area of the entire pizza, multiply it by 1 fifth. Okay. Or we could say, well, what is 72 over 360 as a percentage? Oh, 1 fifth. Yeah, that's 20%. Okay. So you could also multiply it by 0.2. So if you like decimal forms, you can do a decimal, multiply it by 0.2, or if you like fractions, you can multiply it by one fifth. Okay. Um, so now what we're talking about here, so a portion of a circle, like the crust of the pizza, is called an arc. So that's this piece here. That's the arc length. So that's like part of the circumference. It's kind of like part of the perimeter. We call the perimeter of a circle a circumference. Um, this is a set of connected points, a fixed distance from the center point. So we have our center point here. The length of an arc is part of the circle circumference. If a circle has a radius of six, find the length of an arc with a central angle of 30. So we know our circumference formula is two pi r. And we know our radius is six. So I'm just gonna plug in that radius. And then all I would have to do is say, well, 30 is how many degrees? out of a possible 360. So I can either make this into a decimal, I can make that into a fraction, and then all I have to do is multiply this decimal or fraction, however I wanna write it, I have to multiply it by this uh, total circumference of the circle, okay? So multiply it by the 12 pi. And then in our last question here, we're talking about a sector. So the area that resembles a slice of pizza is called a sector. 
So that's like this little section here, the area. It's formed by two radii of a central angle and the arc between their endpoints on the circle. So this is the arc between the endpoints. Okay, so if the circle has a radius of 18, find the area of the sector. So remember, area is pi r squared, and our radius is 18. So I'm going to figure out whatever 18 is, squared is, multiply it by pi, and then all I have to do is figure out, okay, well, 20 degrees out of 360, how much of that, out of 360, how much of the circle is that? is that taking up? How many pieces would I be able to fit there? So I can either take 20 out of 360 and I can write it as a fraction. So it's 1 18th. I basically would have 18 of those slices on that pizza. Or I could take 20 divided by 360 and I could put it as a decimal. So it kind of maybe depends on the way your calculator works. So whatever you're more comfortable with.